I'm a big fan of the math YouTuber 3Blue1Brown. Recently I've been playing around with his animation library he's created called Manum. Now this uh, library is pretty cool. It's written in Python, um, which I'm not overly familiar with actually, but uh, it's pretty easy to get started. So in this video, I want to show you how you can start creating your own animations using this animation library. All right, so let's get right into it. So if you come over to the GitHub page, which will be linked in the description here, um, you'll see this here and it'll show you how you can get started uh, installing everything. So depending on uh, which machine you're using, a Windows, a Mac or whatever, you're going to have uh, some different methods of installing everything and getting it up and going. Um, I'm going to link in the description over here. There's actually some great tutorials here by this Theorem of Beethoven channel uh, that really guides you step by step. So if you have any trouble, uh, the links will be in the description for uh, the particular um, machine you're on. All right, so basically you got to make sure you have Python uh, installed here. Uh, and at least 3.7 it recommends. Um, and then I use Brew to install everything. Uh, so if you're on a Mac, you might want to use that. And then uh, basically you're going to install Latex, which is a math uh, kind of symbols library. And it's going to be pretty big, so it might take a minute. Uh, and then FFmpeg. So you're going to need both of those and uh, yeah, and Python. And then I think you should be pretty good. So basically you're going to install everything, uh, Mac text or whatever uh, latex version you have, FFmpeg, and then you're going to git clone the repo right here. All right. And then from there, we're going to CD into that and let's go check out the actual code that you're going to get from there. All right. So this is what the package is going to look like once you're uh, CD'd into this. And we have our Manum folder here. Uh, your videos, once you export them, will show up here. And then we just have this example scene, which we're just going to work in today. So if we click into this here, um, I created this intro here and that's what you would have seen at the beginning of this video. And it really took me almost no time at all. So it just kind of shows you how quick you can uh, build out some simple animations. So we'll just go through a few different things. Definitely check out the uh, documentation because it's uh, fairly well documented and I'll show you just a, a way more variety of things that I'm, I'll show you right here. But I just want to give you a taste of like what you can do. So first of all, you can create some shapes here. So you can see I've created a square or a circle here. You got a triangle and uh, use all those. And then you have these different methods. So you can chain on all these different things. So if you see here, we have the set fill, which will fill it uh, with whatever color you pass in and an opacity. All right, and then coming down here, we can create some text here. Uh, we have this show creation, which will actually run the animation. So it'll be at the end, the outline. And then we pass in the square that we created uh, up here. Um, and then you have a lag ratio and then how long it takes to run it. So that'll be the speed of the runtime. And then you'll have this uh, wait uh, method here and you can pass in a time there too. If you want to wait longer, you could pass in a two or, a, or whatever. We got scale over here um, and this is how you animate something. So you can animate this circle by just chaining on the animate method here and then scaling it uh, by two. So we're going to animate here and scale it by two. Just some more things you can do. So basically you can go through all these different things. We can just write out the text and it'll animate it. This is how I did the Darwin tech here. Anyway, so there's a ton of different stuff you can do. So let's uh, run this again here. So in order to run this, we're going to be in our folder and we're going to call uh, Manum GL and then the example scenes, which is this uh, file here that we're in. And then the class name, which for us is Darwin intro for this one. So let's run this again. And you can see it's just going to animate. And as we go, It'll kind of run through this step by step. And all these transformations are happening at the same time. So, so pretty neat stuff. So this isn't the greatest animation or anything, but it kind of gives you an idea of what, what you can do. Okay, so let's check out some of these other ones. This example scenes.py is actually great. They give a ton of different examples of different things you can do. So if we scroll down here, let's uh, check out another one. Let's check out this coordinate uh, systems example here. So we'll just run this.
All right, so you can see how this is just super useful if you want to animate uh, any sort of math functions or anything. So in this one, we just came in, uh, you create an axis here, um, and you can create the X range and the Y range. So wherever you are on the axis. Um, and then you have a height and a width, uh, kind of some styling here. All right, and then you create your dot and you can add a color. So you, this is just like the square or the triangle, the circle, or uh, any of those, dot is one of them. So you can add that. And then you can use this uh, method move to to actually move the axes and the dot along it. So uh, that's pretty nice. And then again, we're just animating the dot. Basically just some pretty cool animation stuff you can do quite easily. And you can see this isn't like a super long uh, class or anything. It's, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 lines or something, not even. Um, so it's quite easy to get this going. All right, so let's just show you a couple more. Uh, let's maybe try this graph example. All right, and then there's actually, you can do a lot of 3D stuff with this too, which is kind of cool. Let's run this surface example here. So this example is just kind of blowing my mind a little bit. And it's actually kind of interactive. So if we press D, we can actually move around with our mouse here and actually change the view of this. So that's pretty insane right there. And kind of the craziest thing I think about all this is if you come in here back into our surface example, if we come into this example, it's not a huge class here. Like there's just not that many lines uh, of code in order to create this. Something you would think would just be uh, crazy tough to uh to to create so i think that is pretty pretty awesome so we're not going to go too in depth in any of this but uh just check out the docs and uh, play around if you play around for like 20 minutes you'll kind of get the hang of it um and then you can just look up whatever you want to do basically and uh kind of chain everything together like that um the last thing i want to show you is if we come back up to the top of this file here uh, I would just go through all these example scenes also if you're if you're interested. Uh, but a lot of these flags we can add and uh, S will skip to the end, uh, W will write to, to the file, um, and then O will write to a file and open it. So if we want to um, actually get the video from that and write that to a file, we can come in here. Um, I'll go Darwin intro, the one I created. And then we can just go dash O like this and you'll see that'll actually write it to a file. All right, and then when it's done, you can see it just pops open here and uh, we can just play this, see it work again. We can skip ahead, we've already seen this, but yeah, sounds pretty good. So we get rid of this and if, uh, if you're wondering, this will show up in your videos file here. So it'll show up right there like that. So anyways, hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to use this Manum um, library here. Pretty neat. I think I'll be using it in the future, probably for some explanation videos and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I would suggest uh, going ahead, checking it out, downloading it, and uh, see what you can create. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.